it's now light in here. Hello. It is 7.40 and I'm hungry and I'm gonna go get Popeyes. It's raining. So far today, I got up, okay, there's a car. I got up this morning and went to the bar and it was early and I like didn't want to and I forgot to cancel it so I had to get up. And after that, I worked pretty much, as soon as I got back, I started working on my presentation, my PowerPoint presentation. And then I would take a break and I got all of my orders that I have full, like fully fulfilled. I had those addressed. I wrote thank you cards for each of them, like personalized thank you cards for each of them. And then put all the stuff in the envelopes, addressed them, stamped them. At two o'clock I had a meeting with my professor for my art history class in regards to the presentation that I have to give tomorrow at four. Oh shoot, I just realized I have to write an artist name too tomorrow at 12. I'll do that in the morning. <laughs> well, I'll just turn it in late and say fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> I just need to be so focused on this PowerPoint. I don't need to be doing anything else. It wasn't the best meeting, but like she kind of interrupted me a little bit as I was like trying to explain like where I was going and she was like explaining stuff and I was like really that's like completely irrelevant. So it was a little bit of a waste of time and she's full of information. She's full of knowledge and I, I don't know. She just didn't really let me speak and explain necessarily where I was going like granted I was completely just like flailing like I have so many d avenues like different avenues that I was trying to describe but I didn't really know how to chronologically or like cohesively put them together in the form of like something that would like an argument that makes sense so that was helpful though to have that conversation with her because now I think I have an idea of like where we're going I'm taking a quick break right now because I just taught my class fine like I don't know I'm trying to teach them perspective without actually being there in person with them which is like crazy uh, I think it's working though they th I think they got it critiqued a couple of the works that were like in progress so that they could see like where they were like falling short or like what was successful and then now it's 7 40 and I was about to start working on my PowerPoint and I was like dude I'm so fried like it's been such a long day and Dorian's with me and I don't think he feels good because he's pretty much been laying on the couch like all day I feel like my, like, in my mind, like, Popeyes is, like, delicious. <laughs> I feel like I'm, like, oftentimes, like, disappointed by it. Oh, you can't even see, it's so wet. I guess that's a number six, I'm sorry. <laughs> spicy or mild? Uh, uh, spicy. spicy. I'm gonna sit here and eat this. Dorian perked up when he smelled the chicken. I like never get Popeyes. This is like such a treat. <gasps> oh, they give you honey. But you biscuit, that's cool. Got ranch dressing for the chicken and barbecue for the fries. But I'm afraid the chicken's gonna be hot. I'm satisfied. I always say the biscuit for last because it, it feels like dessert. It's just so buttery and yummy. Mm. So unhealthy. <laughs> I still have like one piece of chicken left, but I'm like, it's so good. It's actually been so good today. It was exactly, like I've literally, literally been like craving Popeyes for like weeks. <laughs> so this is so good. So good. Going calm now. It's after midnight now at this point and I've gotten to a good place I think on my PowerPoint. I'm tired and I want to rest on it so I'm going to go to bed. But before I did that I just went ahead and took inventory of the stock that I have in here. Um, so this is, I'll show you what I've done. These are pens. So if you remember <laughs> my um, like my bonus room sort of studio walkthrough or whatever. I found all these like little clear plastic bags inside of that bag of beads that's literally from like the 90s. So these plastic bags are crystal clear and they're from the 90s and there was literally the exact number that I needed for each pen. So now each pen is in like its own little individual bag and it's, the bag is the perfect size for a business card. So I took inventory of my business card. So I have 25 um, of my business cards 
And then I have three stickers down here that were like the highest quantity. So like the little Clarksville chair, Clarksville chair, love. Two big stacks of these, small, or sorry, like the green Victorian chair. A stack and a half of these Helena Prison Farm chairs. I have all of the stickers as well that um, I have less quantity of. But I think I'm gonna have to order more of this because this is really popular. I only have six of these left. I'm obsessed with those. More stickers. Another set of stickers. Magnets. This version of the Victorian chair. So this is now what I have for inventory. <laughs> it's all just in this little box. And then I have the four orders that still need like one or two more items. So I still have a magnet coming that looks like this. I have a, the pink version of my sofa and then I have the sticker version of this chair coming. So once those come I'll be able to send those four orders out but I'm, I'm sad that they were late. But I also want to show you that I got my Skylar box today. I wasn't going to open it but I really want to see what it smells like. I was going to like save it until tomorrow. So the scent this month is Desert Nights, and I do, their packaging is just so like luxurious. It's like matte feeling, and it's like really soft and smooth. Here's what she looks like inside the packaging. It just, it's like a slide out, like a drawer. Saffron flower, jasmine, some sandbach, ambro, ambrox? I have no idea what those words are. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Uh, oh, that's so good. Yeah, it's a little bit floral, but it's really warm. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh my goodness, I love it. That's so good. Okay, I'm excited for this. Obviously, I have to wear it more um, to see how it really smells, but since I've had it on for those three seconds, it doesn't smell quite as floral as it did when I first put it on. But can we just like talk about the packaging? <laughs> they put like four of these like starch packing peanuts in here. What is, I guess it keeps it from hitting one side of the box. I don't know. Did they have it like this? Like one for each side? <laughs> Do you think that works? I don't know. Hey, what's up? It is Thursday. This week has just like gone by so fast. I'm leaving the bar at the moment and I think I'm going to go get my car washed slash vacuum it myself. I think it costs like $17 or something like that to like go through the car wash thing they like wipe it down for you but I have this um I, I have like mildew happening and my car is white obviously I don't know if it's obvious or not but yeah you can tell it's white I'm right there just need to get the, the washed off and then I obviously haven't uh, like really vacuumed my car in a while so I want to spend some time vacuuming it but yesterday I had that presentation yesterday I gave that presentation I met with my professor the day before and I was like completely just not ready to go. I've also never written a paper like this, like never, ever. And um, let's see, like I've written research papers, but I've never written a paper like this specifically and have, that I've had to give like a presentation. And also that's held to the same standard of like a master's level, like art historical paper. Like I've never done this before. I gave the presentation yesterday and she like, she like tore me up, like tore it apart. Where did you get this information about this being the whole purpose of this? And I was like, um, I read it in two books. <laughs> I like showed her the two books. Like this is on Zoom, like in front of the entire class, right? So like there was like critiques and feedback or whatever. Like I know that I need to do more research and I like made that clear. Like I need to do more research on this to like find out X, Y, Z. Like I was prepared. Like I spent a lot of time working on this presentation. I had prepared everything that I could and I think it was a lot better than the day before when I presented to her initially. And I think I improved from the ne that day to the day that I was presenting, which like I'm fine with that. I think I did a good job. I worked really hard on it. She's like, what does parody mean? And I was like, do you want like an actual definition? I don't know. I would say like to make a joke of or to make fun of. And she was like, yes, I think you're using it incorrectly. And I was like, how am I using it incorrectly? I just told you I knew what it means. And yes, I am using it exactly that way because I would like, that's, I think it's funny what this person is doing. And she was like, I think you mean appropriate. And I'm like, no, I've used appropriate elsewhere. But I mean, I didn't say that. Our class has like a little group me text. 
and someone was like, you know Dr. Simon is having a bad day when she when she criticizes your word choice or something like that. And she was like, I was having flashbacks of last year when I was using the word surreal incorrectly or something like that. Or she, she had said something was surreal. This is art history. The difference between art history and like fine art, like studio art, is that when someone critiques you and you do something bad, it's just like, that's that just happens. Like I've, learned, I've known this since architecture school. Like sometimes you get critiqued negatively and like you just have to suck it up and deal with it but like it was so funny that all of the art historians were like no Kathy you did a really good job like I hope it didn't come off as like blah 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 like they were all trying to like make me feel better <laughs> and I was like really it's fine and so it's just so funny that like that conversation or people like trying to make me feel better like would have never happened in studio art class like granted yes like your professor might have one opinion and then the other people in your class are like, no, I really think that was really good. I think you did a good job. And like, they'll tell you that, but they're not like trying to make you feel better when you did a shit job. Yeah. <laughs> so because I worked so diligently on that presentation yesterday, I did not do my, um, I had to write a artist statement, which was due yesterday. I need to write that today. I just don't want to think anymore. I'm just so tired of thinking. Is it Thanksgiving yet? I have to go sit in this classroom for an hour at five, and then I have to be back for my class that I'm teaching at six. Also, PayPal is like holding my funds hostage. I guess because I had like recently like opened this account and then I all like immediately started getting money into it. It's like, this is suspicious. I had to like submit all this information, like business information. I had to like show them like um, invoices for like when I was like buying materials or whatever. So I did that. I just sent them my ID, I did that. I'm not able to submit this yet because I'm still waiting on some materials to come. So I can't get any of my money until I submit the invoice for that. In reverse real quick. Oh. I gotta put in your uh, your uh, bike rack so the wraps don't hit it. Get a look ass. Oh, okay. Oh. Look ass, look ass. Keep going, keep going. Alright, you good. Hold your brakes till he's rolling some under your wheel. Okay. sweating <laughs> I've got like I just squirted a ton of sanitizer in my face now I can't tell the difference between the sanitizer and the sweat I was gonna say that I'm glad I did this like after a bar because I was already kind of sweaty so good time to go because it was starting to get kind of hot out there but I think it looks great. Everything looks really good now and clean. Everything is not like wiped down, but it is at least clean and free of debris. I like vacuumed some of Dorian's little like hammock thing, but it needs to be like cleaned. And it's, this is not gonna fit in my washing machine. So I don't really know. I mean, I, the only way I can see it getting clean is if I take it to like an actual like laundromat. So my car got pretty clean in general. Um, it's just like the under part, like when the bumper, like on the bumper, on the top of the bumper is not. It's also been like three days. I think this is day three now that I haven't been able to get into my Facebook. Um, I can't get into Pinterest either. I discovered that yesterday. So I can't get on Facebook, can't get into Pinterest. It's really frustrating. And I've submitted my ID now like three times with like different email addresses. My friend did a Color Street like nail party or whatever on Facebook. 
So I ordered um, a pack, uh, again, Facebook, that's something I don't have access to. Oh, one set, because they're really expensive and I can get like nice nails for cheaper from like Ulta. And the color that I got was navy and these are really pretty actually, so I'm happy with that. Yummy. 